Today in this No Money Spent video, I'm going to be selling my entire team, and I'm going to be spending every single coin that I have and buy tons of Easter eggs. This will completely reset our entire team, and we will be building a whole new No Money Spent team from scratch Easter Sunday. But anyways, let's start from square one and start with selling our team. Now, selling our team is going to be a little interesting here, because if you guys saw my previous video, or maybe it was two videos ago, we spent a million coins on this team, but a lot of these cards are actually end cats, meaning they're not sellable on the auction block. So we're not going to be selling those end cat cards because it just wouldn't be worth their value. But what we are going to do is sell every single card that's auctionable. Anything that we can get for value, we're going to go ahead and sell that. But yeah, let's start from square one. Both Julio Jones and Jimmy Graham are obviously sellable because the only ways you can get them is from the sets. So yeah, right here, as you guys can see, Julio Jones, about 190k easily we can sell them for. I'll do 188, post them for eight hours. Sure, that should sell very quickly. Next thing we're going to do is going ahead and selling this Jimmy Graham card. Jimmy Graham's about the same as Julio Jones. Another 200k that we're going to be able to add to the bank. I'll just throw it up for 204. Post to auction house. Yes, sir. Trey Lance, I know is sellable, even though it says Nat. That's just because he's powered up. Obviously, Dalvin Cook's a Nat. Obviously, Justin Jefferson, David Njoku, Lance. Those guys are all Nats. Like I said, a lot of our team is Nats, so we're not going to be selling too many players. And I know you guys are looking to see a lot of gameplay with this team. I'm going to be trying to stream a lot more with my No Money Spent account. I just haven't been able to do that as of recently. Holy cow, this menu lag is terrible. Anyways, right here, Trey Lance, 96 overall. I'm pretty sure he's about quick sell value as of the last time I checked him, and hey, he kind of went up. He's about 140. We'll throw him up for 130. But yeah, final price, I'll sell him at 137. Why not? That should sell very quickly as well. I'm pretty sure every single backyard ballers player that wasn't those heroes are all Nats. Yeah, about 80k. Honestly, we'll take it. He's about quick sell value. This card's so good, bro. Like, if you guys need a good, decent, semi-budget corner, Kristen Fulton, oh my gosh. Pick him up. But yeah, moving throughout here, I don't think we have too many other cards that we can sell. Somebody got a snipe for around 22k, good for them. But other than that, he's selling for around 73,000 coins. So we'll go ahead and post him up. So yeah, I don't think we have many other cards. All these guys right here are Nats as well. We do have a lot of these cards that I've just pulled from packs. I'm just gonna go ahead and go through and quick sell these alongside as these little NCAT cards and these Nat cards. Just because they're never gonna have a place on our team again, I just rather get the training and be a lot quicker. So yeah, this isn't the best thing to do especially on a no money spent account but i just don't want to spend all the time going through that as well as we've got so many cards selling we're gonna have so many coins for eggs anyways so yeah the last card i'm gonna go ahead and sell right here is this matt feeler i think this guy's about quick sell value as well yeah he's really not that great but yeah don't worry boys we're gonna be completely rebuilding this team in a few days obviously the easter eggs hatch on easter day but obviously i can't be recording all of easter day because it's easter so yeah that video might be out around tuesday of next week but yeah this menu leg is atrocious bro oh my gosh yeah you gotta fix this but yeah anyways as we wait for those cards to sell i did say earlier that we did complete the grid iron forge which guys the nate hobbs obviously and it obviously got us a lot more packs as well we kind of got just a lot of strategy items here too so i'm really not too sure what these are going to give us if we can get like a rare that'd be crazy obviously not but yeah we got two pro fantasy packs and an 83 plus player pack i'll just rip this daily coin pack in the 93 oh we do get 10k though anyways we got two pro fantasy packs here i don't think there are limiteds in packs right now but i mean we can still pull like a ultimate legend randy moss really anything here would be cool if i could pull like 190 plus that'd be cool I, I'm, I'm really not asking for much here 80 overall unfortunately right there but yeah we're gonna take all these cards as well and put them into easter eggs too literally every single coin that is not an end cap player every single thing that i own are going into these eggs all right so we'll take these high golds right here take all those go ahead and see this second round right here campus heroes terrible terrible ea what are these packs right now you got to give me some better stuff than that come on man anyways 83 plus elite player pack right here if i could get like an eight a 90 plus night and uh, no way jose really 83 overall nick bosa so last thing we need to do here before we convert our coins into candy which converts our candy into eggs which will give us players on sunday as i've said before we actually need to get our training into coins so we can get those coins into candy so i'm gonna roll this 92 plus if i somehow get blessed and get like a 96 i will go crazy please ea and nine. 92 Michael Carter. I could just quick sell them and put them into candy, which is probably the best thing to do. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this back 30k. We'll buy all of our candy later with coins. I think that's the best way of doing it as well. Although I think going from training to candy, that would have been the best way of doing it. And we have the exact amount to do an 8,300 pack. So I don't know, maybe I get like a 96 here. Come on, EA, give me something good. 88. Yeah, I'm just gonna quick sell this. Screw what I just said two seconds ago about transferring our coins into candy. Oh yeah, and if you guys are wondering how I got all the coins, I literally just been playing tons of head to head. We 
We are up to a million seventy nine thousand. So yeah, I'm gonna wait for the rest of my cards to sell, and once they do all sell, I'll be back with you guys. See you guys in a bit. Alrighty, boys. As you guys can see, everything has sold, and we have one point four million coins alongside of forty six thousand training points. We'll convert those training points into candy. So before we actually go ahead and transfer our coins into candy to get the eggs, I did complete four of these hidden eggs. The other ones you need to get like sacks with Chase Young or with your team with Chase Young on your team. That's just gonna take too long. So we're just gonna roll these. I've only gotten some smalls out of these i'm assuming you can really only probably get like smalls because i've never pulled anything else out of these i opened all five on my main account and pulled all smalls so yeah another small right there and last but not least right here we get a small so four straight smalls so yeah what i think i'm gonna do with my coins is i'm just going to buy literally hansa 96s we're gonna end up quick selling them and then once we quick sell those for all the candy we're gonna take all the candy obviously roll them into eggs i really have no plan of attack on what egg packs we're gonna open so yeah, we'll see. I'll be back with you guys once I get these 96s. Alrighty, boys. As you guys can see, we are now at 17,000 coins. Let's go ahead and quick sell all these cards and see how much candy we got. Alrighty, boys. And as we go to quick sell our cards right here, we are going to have about 220,000 candy. I don't know if we got the best candy ratio. I really don't care, to be honest. This is where I'm going to have my biggest dilemma. We're going to open these two special offers right here, this 25% off egg. Most likely, it's going to be a guaranteed small. And yeah, we do get a small egg right there that was pretty predictable and then we're also going to open the special offer extravagant egg i probably should have saved us to the end but here we go can we get something crazy can we get a really good one? Ooh, i've seen this one on twitter a lot a lot of people think this is charles woodson i think so yeah i guess not too bad of an egg it's an extravagant that's what we were kind of looking for there i guess we'll end up seeing what that actually is though but yeah here's my issue i'm not going to quick sell any of these eggs that we pull i just think usually like when it comes to presents and eggs when you quick sell you probably end up losing more than you gain so hanging on to every single pull is pretty important but here's the issue if we pull a lot of small eggs and they don't turn into like the egg extravagance on easter then they're going to be practically useless for our team medium eggs will actually make the cut alongside large eggs and obviously extravagance will as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open like maybe like 10 of these medium eggs and then we'll go ahead and open the largest as well we can pull egg extravagance from this as we get a medium right there so that would be pretty cool if we could do that but yeah i just don't see any small eggs making our team but i bet medium eggs have the chance of making our team especially because our team isn't that good same exact medium egg right there unfortunate but yeah of course we want to open a couple of these large eggs they're going to be the best eggs out of all of them and that's also where our highest chance of getting an extravagant egg would be but yeah so far not too much luck here on the mediums and right here we do get another medium egg of course can we get at least one extravagant out of the medium egg pack sadly not looking that way i think out of all of these packs the best pack to be opening right now is the small egg i just think though you usually have the best value and we do get it oh we get the same extravagant egg that's tough i'm gonna hold on to it because we don't know for sure what's in it just yet but yeah it is what it is we get the same one i wish we could have got a different one at least but you know like i said it is what it is we get another medium egg right there yeah i think the small egg is the best value because they usually don't have two they don't usually have a roof on them meaning you can kind of pull literally anything out of it as we get a redux med medium egg right there that's actually pretty interesting and then we're gonna go ahead and open up one random egg right here i haven't opened a single random egg pack yet i only opened the larges and the mediums and of course some of the smalls as well as we get a medium right there so that's actually not too bad yeah, we're going to open up four of these large egg packs. I want at least two extravagant eggs. That shouldn't be that hard to do as we get the Robert Hunt egg that everybody's been predicting. I don't know if I buy into that. We'll see on Easter, but yeah, we get an extravagant egg right there. We got three more of these. I just want one more extravagant egg. If we can get maybe like the Ultimate Legends one, obviously the red one with the crown would be amazing. And there we go. We get the Ultimate Legend extravagant egg right there. That's going to be super hyped to open up. I don't really know what's going to be in it obviously we're gonna find out on easter two more extravagant eggs or all large eggs and we get a large egg of course right there and here is our final large egg pack right here hopefully we can get a good pull and we get the crown we get the red crown there's a lot of predictions on what this is gonna be but as you guys can see it's 62,000 candy there's a lot of people saying it's derrick henry quarterback there's a lot of people saying it's patrick mahomes personally i believe the guess that this is just gonna be the 99 cooper cup but for 62,000 candy, it's got to be something good. I hope it's worth its value. I can't believe we actually pulled that. I think that's probably the best egg you can pull. So yeah, it's a big time W right there. But yeah, you guys will be getting my first reactions to opening all these eggs. I'm going to try to stay off Twitter to get any teasers or reveals. Peace out.